Hello everyone, welcome to our happy hour flow for the week. Coming in live here with an awesome 30 minute yoga sequence for you today. Just again, a few reminders to get you all prepped and set up for yoga today. It's gonna be all about the arms today. We're gonna be focusing on some strengthening in the arms as well as helping to stretch our shoulders out, taking care of these lovely joints. As always, I have my awesome yoga trio essential oils here that I wanna share with you and grab any of your favorite oils. Align is what we're gonna use for the centering. Anchor is what I'm gonna use at the end with Shavasana. Arise is what we're gonna use to come on back to the room. So those are my oil blends I'm gonna use. As always, I always like to say I have a pillow or a blanket. If you're on carpet, you don't necessarily need a yoga mat. If you're on hard floor, you're gonna want a yoga mat. And a few props I always make sure people have handy, a yoga strap or a belt or a scarf so that you can reach things a little bit easier. And we're gonna need this for some shoulder stretches for people that have tight shoulders today. And then yoga blocks, or I've been showing everybody in the video how to use it with use these uh, books instead of yoga blocks. I also have been telling everybody, get your own music out. Have some fun music, have anything that makes you feel empowered for a happy hour flow today. Grab those props, make sure you have them handy. I always like to have a little water on hand as well. So again, we want any essential oils you wanna use. All right, oils. Pillow or a blanket, yoga strap, belt, or a scarf, yoga blocks or books, and then a little water if you need some agua. All right, now I'm going to let everybody just get them come on in and get settled in. A few things if you want to share. Share the video if anybody you know has some arm issues or anything that they are struggling with with arm strengthening this could be wonderful for them and comment below on any awesome postures you're enjoying also if you're digging some of the modifications I'm offering the more that you comment on what postures you like or you hit like or love the more that you do that then I'm gonna know how to start to keep customizing these yoga classes we're gonna be focusing on arms today from strength and stretch if there's other areas of the body or particular modifications for injuries that you want me to focus on, comment below. I check the videos afterwards to make sure I'm supporting everybody. And remember, we're live all week this week for Happy Hour Flow at 5.30 Eastern. And then next week, we're going to be checking back in with a little bit of that lunch flow and supporting everybody. As you recall, and some of you that are new, I do a replay of these yoga sessions the next day at lunch. So somewhere around 12, 1230 is the replay of those. And that makes sure that everyone either lunch hour or happy hour is getting served. So grab your props. Remember, share the video with anybody as well as comment with things you really like or things you would like for me to offer in a future class. We're going to get started in our centering beginning meditation. So come to a nice easy seat. If cross-legged doesn't serve you, then sit however you do. Now I'm gonna show you something that's really great for your shoulders. Even here in what's called Sukhasana, easy pose, is if you see, I'm sitting right here on the edge of a blanket. You can get more blanket if you notice you have a really big hunch in your shoulders. You can get less, you can use a pillow. But if you notice when I sit on this, it tilts my pelvis in a way that allows my shoulders to stay open. It makes it easier for me to sit up straight. When you take it away, it wants to tuck the pelvis under and it makes it so much easier to hunch forward. So just getting something and sitting right on the edge of it, again, it tucks the pelvis in a way that keeps me able to sit up straighter with more ease. All right, so nice, easy seated pose. I'm gonna grab my essential oil that I'm gonna use for our centering. All right, nice deep breath in. <sighs> inhale. <sighs> and last one, inhale. 
<sighs> and I like to massage my ears, get me nice and grounded. And then you're gonna place your hands right on your thighs. The palms can face down or face up, your preference. Get that head and neck relaxed. Just begin to breathe in and out through your nose. As you inhale, imagine a balloon right in your belly and begin to expand that balloon. As you exhale, imagine that balloon is slowly deflating as your navel moves towards your spine. Again, you inhale through the nose, that balloon expands, belly breath. When you exhale out the nose, imagine the balloon deflating. And just begin to find this belly breath at your own pace, keeping the face and the jaw relaxed. As you breathe in through the nose, expanding. And you breathe out through the nose, relaxing. Beginning to just slowly deepen the breath. Try not to muscle it. Begin to find your breath in. And find your breath out. And as you begin to belly breathe here, you'll start to notice the sides of your body, the back of your body wants to expand and open with that breath. Starting to really feel the breath flowing into the belly and then filling up your chest. And then you'll exhale, imagine the chest relaxing and the belly relaxing. Again, inhale, fill the belly, fill the chest. And exhale, chest relaxes and belly. And just for a moment, finding this breath at your own pace. Remembering inhale, belly, and then chest. Feel that whole torso filled with air. And then you exhale from top to bottom. As you focus on your breath work today throughout class, I encourage you to just focus on the breath filling from bottom top and then exhaling from top to bottom starting to just find that gentle flow keeping the face soft and then now staying connected to your breath and the present moment begin a journey in what your intention is for your class tonight it could be a word that helps you stay present but also be a way that you'd like to feel in generating that feeling today on your mat or in your little yoga space so that you can generate that and take it off of your mat into the rest of your day, off of your yoga experience here into the rest of your day and potentially influencing people around you, giving off those good vibes. I'm just gonna land on what our intention is today for our 30 minute sequence. And then slowly, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. Thumbs rest against sternum and Anjali Mudra to allow yourself to seal this intention in. And we'll all together take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, head moves towards the hands. The mind and heart honor and acknowledge your intention. Chin stays to chest, hands relax down, and as always, in some gentle neck rolls. So you can do a full circle, keeping the back of the neck long. Or if you wanna just do side to side, you'll roll ear over shoulder, exhale chin to chest, and then ear over shoulder. So again, find the full circle, or just sway from side to side. Whatever serves your body. And then if you are circling, when chin comes to chest, you'll just reverse direction. Just waking up that head, neck, shoulders. And then from here, once your chin is to chest, everybody pause here. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. 
Exhale, shoulders back and down as you rise the head up. Ah, three sun breaths. So inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, push those hands in. Activate the arms already. Inhale, one more. And exhale. And now from here, you're gonna rest your hands down. Just change the cross of your legs if they are crossed. And then inhale, arms rise. Exhale, side stretch to the left. That bottom shoulder relaxes. Nice deep breaths here. We're just finding a few warm-up poses, really to see what body showed up today. Depending on what your day brought you, sometimes your body shows up a little different in yoga. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale to the other side. Nice deep breaths in on this side. And reach up, relax that hand. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left ear to our left shoulder. Now this might be a deep enough stretch for you right here. If you're somebody that has a flexible neck, you can just gently rest your hand on your head. You don't wanna push it down. The gentle weight of your hand will increase the stretch. I'm gonna show it without the hand on the head. You're gonna bring your fingertips beside you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna walk your fingers as far front as you can. And you're gonna take some deep breaths right into your belly. You don't wanna chest breathe here, or you're gonna to start to feel some tugging in your neck. Belly breathe. And what we're really doing here is we're actually stretching the back neck muscles, the back muscles right here that attach into our neck and come down our shoulder. And then bring the hand back to center. You're gonna take the hand straight out now. Now we're getting more of the side neck into shoulder. So right here is where the stretch occurs. Nice deep breaths here. And then you're gonna walk your hands as far back as they can go and take some deep breaths. Now we're getting the front of our neck muscles. You can even look up a little if you want. Now in my 14 years of massage, I have seen so many people with tight front neck muscles. Everybody says that spot between their shoulder blades or up here is what's bugging them. Well, it's bugging you because of these front neck muscles, as well as right here, your pec region. This gets chronically contracted and then it tugs at the back of the body. So this is actually where the root of most problems. I have found in my practice, 80% of all my clients' neck problems come from the front of their body. Slowly coming on back, bring a hand to the side, then roll that chin down. You wanna roll down, you don't wanna jut it up, and then coming on back up. You might notice, ooh, one side feels weird, different than the other. So now let's do that other side. So right ear to right shoulder. Again, only if it feels okay, rest the hand. Don't push, rest. And we're gonna bring that hand to the side, and we're gonna bring it front first. Again, we're stretching the back neck into the shoulder. Nice deep breaths here. This is a phenomenal stretching sequence to do. If you've been sitting at your desk all day, it's a great desk job stretch sequence. Bring it on back now to center and then reach out. Again, now we're stretching more of the side. You might even, if you have tight arms or something, you might even feel it pulling down. That's because maybe your trap or something is tight, your trapezius, and it's pulling right here at your deltoid, which happens a lot. Uh, some of you might have noticed, or I'll show before, my love marks, my cupping marks. Um, I did some self-cupping on myself while I was teaching one of my massage clients to do it in my virtual wellness program. <laughs> and I didn't realize that I left them on a little longer, so I got my own cupping while I was guiding one of my clients in self-cupping on my virtual wellness session, which was, <laughs> I guess I got a little bit of my own self-care, right? Then bring it back, and then go as far back as you can. Again, you can look up a little. This is the juicy one. You wanna get the front neck muscles stretch. We wanna get our pec a little stretch too. So in my practice of clients that come for massage that are struggling with neck and shoulder issues, Almost every single one of my clients has a tight pec. Pec major is the big one, pec minor is under it, and tight scalenes 
which are right here, and a tight levator scapula, which is right here. Didn't know I was going to be teaching you some neck muscles and shoulder muscles, right? I'm going to teach you a little anatomy here. So again, we have our pec, and then we have our scalenes and our levator. These are the muscles I find so tight in many people. Coming on back, roll chin down, rise up. Squeeze them up, <sighs> let it go. Squeeze them up, <sighs> let it go. One more. <sighs> and then just roll the shoulders a little. Front, up, back. All right, we're going to get going into some flow now. You just reverse direction. And again, I want you to really check to see where your head and neck are throughout this practice. Do you tend to jump? Do you tend to look down? We want to keep the integrity here. All right, we're going to come to our cat-cow, my favorite warm-up pose, just for a couple breaths. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Have that active yogi hand. And then inhale, tailbone shines up. Belly down, gaze up, cow position. Exhale, right from the hips. Grip, squeeze it in, cat arch. Inhale, flow through, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. And now coming on back here, table position. And what you're going to do now is probably take your hands about one step forward. And you're going to lift the hips up and back to your first down dog of the night. So you want active yogi hands here. Feet should be at least hip socket width apart. Wider if you have tight hamstrings. Now I want you to look at your upper thighs. In down dog, people tend to look forward or keep their neck tense. We want to keep it relaxed, remember? That'll give you the deepest shoulder stretch. Now take your dog for a little walk. We just want to bend one knee, then the other. Give our dog a little walk. Start to feel the stretch in the whole back of the body. And then coming into stillness and down dog, take a nice deep breath in. And let it all go. Walking the feet to meet the hands. Little bend of the knees to protect those hammies. Spread your toes nice and wide. Round up one vertebra at a time. Head and neck are last to rise. And shoulders roll up, back and down. Three sun salutes to build some fire. So inhale, arms rise, and exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise, clasp your left wrist, exhale to the right. Inhale, arms rise, reverse your clasp, exhale to the left. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward, hands to floor or to legs. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh, let it go. Coming down onto the knees. Untuck the toes. So we want hips in front of knees, shoulders right over your wrists. Take a nice deep breath in. And now lower it all down. Yogi push up. Coming all the way to the floor. Hands stay where they are. Pelvis roots down. Inhale, reach out and up. Baby cobra. You have active feet here, active crown of your head. Lower down, push back, elbows stay hugging in. Downward facing dog, nice deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. Walking feet to meet hands, forward fold. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Again, you can round up, best option if you have low blood pressure. The rest of us, hands to hips, activate your feet. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, arms rise, palms touch, and exhale to your intention, your heart center. Inhale, rise, clasp your left wrist, exhale to the right. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp, exhale to the left. Inhale, rise, and now exhale, folding forward. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, downward facing dog, our second flow here. Inhale, <sighs> exhale. Now lowering back down, knee plank, untuck the toes. If you want knee plank, if you want to get more active, full plank. Again, we don't want tushy sinking down or popping up. Full plank, you got to really squeeze those shoulder blades together. You don't want to hunch, you got to almost like you have one uh, bra strap clasp too tight, ladies. Squeeze in, nice deep breath in. Those in knee plank, lower, elbows hug in. 
Those in full plank, roll forward on your toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Try and keep the elbows over the wrists. You can do it. All to the floor. And inhale, reach out and up, baby cobra. To activate more and fire up those triceps. Push into the hands. Pelvis stays on the floor. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Relax those shoulders, everyone. Deep breath in. And then exhale, lower. Push back. Elbows hug in. Downward dog. Take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. Walk feet to meet hands. Forward fold. Inhale, straight spine. Gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, grip the feet. Rise up now. Arms sweep up. Palms touch. And exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Clasp your left wrist. And exhale to the right. Inhale, rise. Reverse your clasp. Exhale to the left. Inhale, rise, and now exhale, full forward. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands. Downward dog, nice deep breath in. And again, full plank or knee plank, your preference. Take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale, lower the body. Inhale, find one of those cobras, or up dog, shoulders over wrists, legs lift up. Feel the toenails pushing down. Nice activation here. We want our shoulders relaxed. Now, if you are in one of those cobras, press back down dog. Us up doggers here, activate your core. Zip up your lower core and whoosh, flip on over down dog. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath out. And from here, zip up your core. We're all going to move to plank now. We're going to do three of these. So inhale, zip up your core. Your hips move your body. Shoulders over wrists, exhale, down dog, let it go. Inhale, zip it up, exhale. Use the core to support your shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. Nice deep breath in, let it go. Walk the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise, clasp your left wrist. Exhale to the right. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp. Exhale to the left. Inhale, rise, and now exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, down dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Let it go. Now I want you to flow forward and find your sequence. Again, any of those back bends to support you, we're all gonna find our way back when you're ready into downward facing dog. And now from here, take a nice deep breath in, extend your right leg behind you, and then exhale. You can bring the knee in or squeeze it in, little cat arch, just work your shoulders more. Inhale, extend it back, two more, squeeze or bring it in. Inhale back, and exhale. Inhale back, gaze forward, exhale, bring that foot forward. Again, if that doesn't work, knees down, swing around. Remember my rhyme. Coming on up, runner's lunge here. Your back heel spins down. We want heel, heel alignment. Rise up, push this right big toe down. Make sure you can see it. Arms are gonna rise up, warrior one, or bring them to heart center. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. One more. And nice deep breath out. Now you're gonna grab opposite elbows here if you can. Zip up this lower core. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. One more, inhale. And exhale. Try and grab your prop, hopefully you have it handy. I'm gonna show you how to use a prop to get a deeper shoulder stretch. You can bring the prop. Again, we have the belt, the strap, or the scarf and bring your hands as far away as you need. I like to make sure that my palms, when I go, feel comfortable. Everybody's a little different. I tend to feel like the knuckles facing this way is the best, because we're gonna be going forward. So if that doesn't feel necessary and you wanna clasp your hands, open palms, the deepest stretch is squeezed palms. Okay, so you're going to be going forward as we do this, Gotta let your head and neck relax. Keep this right knee over your right ankle. Grip your core. 
wherever you're at. Three deep breaths. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Grip your feet. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now to rise. Grip your feet. Use your core to rise. Rise up. And then exhale. Hands plant. Downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. Inhale. Left leg extends behind you. Exhale. Either bring just the knee in or squeeze it in. Cat arch. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale back. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale back. Gaze forward. Exhale. Sweep it forward. Again, knees down. Swing around if you need that. Heel, heel alignment. Rise up. Warrior one. Again, I'm going to show you all now with the prop how to use it in a moment. Bring your hands to heart or bring them up. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Use your core here. Inhale. And exhale. Hands lower. Now, if you did the clasp, you want to do the opposite clasp. So different finger over finger. I'm going to show us how to use our prop here. Again, I have a scarf. You can get a strap or anything. This will help if you need to bring your hands a little farther away. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, hinge. All right, grip your feet. Use your core wherever you're at. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now let that head and neck go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Now grip the feet. Use your core. Rise to stand. Set your prop aside. Plant your hands. Downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath out. Now from here, walk the feet to meet the hands. Forward fold. Now we're going to go into some fun arm balancing today and see if anybody can do it. Arm balancing can be super fun. I'm going to show you how to do arm balancing so it's a little less scary for your brain. So grab your books or your yoga blocks and then put your pillow or your blanket on top. If you don't need this much height, if you have hip flexibility, then you can just use the blanket instead of the blocks or the books. Now for a moment, we're just going to have you come on down. Your heels might be lifted here in squat. And I'm going to show you a little stretch here so we can get these legs stretched out. Is you're going to bring one knee, sink it down, and then you're going to flex this foot. Open up your inner thigh here. Inhale, and then exhale. And then just keep flowing. We just want to stretch out our inner groin a little. We're going to move into crow pose. It's a fun balancing pose. And with the blanket here, it's going to take the scary part out. Just a couple more of these to get our inner thighs nice and stretched. Moving into an arm balance. Now we're going to find our way down for some arm stretches. All right. So now we're going to move into crow pose. You want to bring as much as possible, see if you can get your heels to touch. If they can't touch, let's just play today. You're going to bring your hands down, and you want to try and get a shelf. So you might be super high, but you want to get this shelf. You have this awesome little spot here on your shoulder. You have this awesome little spot on the inside of your knee. That's called your little shelf. Now, you might be just the person that's starting to find that shelf. You begin to roll forward, activate the hands. If you notice, they're almost in those chaturanga arms, right? Elbows over wrists. You got to activate your core here. Now, if you want to play a little bit with balance, when you go forward, you need to make sure if you fall down, that blanket's there to take your forehead. All right, so let's see now if we can get into crow. Activate your hands. Lift one. That might be where you go. Try and lift two. Or just keep trying one and two. Again, you can keep just swaying or full crow. Squeeze your core. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze in. And then come out. <sighs> Find your way. <sighs> All the way on your tush. Great job, everybody. And now we're going to find our way into some shoulder stretches. But first off, let's just get our legs stretched a little. So inhale, arms rise. Activate your core. Exhale, hinge over both legs. We're just doing a gentle stretch now. So if you do want to round your back, it's okay. Just breathe. 
Breathing in the back of the legs. And then coming on up. And now what we're gonna do, turn ourselves over onto our bellies. Now if you want a little cush, you can place this on your head. And you're gonna bring your hands to a T position here. Now this is an awesome shoulder stretch. If you see the arm is coming directly out of that socket. You're going to use your opposite hand and push in. You're gonna to start to bend this knee, bring this foot onto the floor as much as possible. You can keep pushing and give this left shoulder a stretch, but breathe in, feel what works good for you. Nice deep breaths. And slowly, you wanna move very, very slow, out, and then we're gonna to go to the other side. So that right arm comes directly out of the hip socket or whatever arm you just used. You want the opposite arm to stretch and then push on up and over. And then again, try and get that foot on the floor. If possible, use this other hand to support you. Nice deep breaths here. This can be a deep shoulder stretch. So breathe into it. And slowly unravel. Coming on back here. And then from here, you're gonna push yourself up and back, child's pose. So seat to feet, and then surrender for just a moment. Nice deep breaths. And then coming on up, we're gonna thread the needle for our last shoulder stretch before we find our way down to Shavasana. Inhale, extend the left arm, exhale, thread the needle. You're gonna rest right here. If your head feels a little wonky, we have that nice little pillow or blanket. Now we're doing the opposite shoulder stretch, right? You can bring your other arm and wrap it around your low back if that feels good to you. You can also, if you want to turn this into a balancing pose, you can by taking your right foot out. I'm going to do it with both knees down because we're moving into relaxation. Take a few nice deep breaths. Feel that shoulder socket, surrender in. And then we're gonna unravel, plant that hand, reach up, and then hand comes down. Now inhale, right arm, exhale, thread your needle. Again, rest your head if that felt good. You have the option of bringing that arm up around. Again, you can balance if you want. I'm doing it more restoratively. Nice deep breaths here. Feel that shoulder socket surrender into the floor. And then unravel. And all you're gonna do is turn on over to your back. Now you can rest your head on your blanket or set it aside. Have your oil if you wanna use a grounding oil. And then extend the legs long. <sighs> nice deep breaths, finding your way to quiet. <sighs> Arms by your sides, palms facing up. With each exhale, just feel your body sinking a little more into the floor. Now, just begin to deepen the breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to roll your wrists and ankles. On an inhale, extend the arms up above the head. Nice long stretch. 
And exhale, hug your knees in and just rock for a moment from side to side. Give that low back and that back a nice little massage. And eventually roll to either side and fetal pose. Surrendering for just a moment more into the floor. Relishing in the surrender. And then using your hands as you keep the head and neck relaxed, push on up. Eyes closed. Back to easy seated pose. With hands coming to heart center, recommitting to your intention. As we all together take a deep breath in. And exhale, head moves towards hands, allowing the mind to acknowledge the heart and the heart the mind, thanking yourself for your practice. May you all be happy, healthy, and live with ease. As always, the goodness in me honors and acknowledges the goodness in you, which means namaste. And then opening the eyes slowly. You have your favorite oil to come on back to the room with. Again, this is my Arise blend. All together, a deep breath in. <sighs> like a little scissoring. Inhale, right, scissor the ears, it activates those meridians, that energy. And inhale, and then just give your ears a little pull. <sighs> Welcome back, everybody. So that was our yoga sequence for our shoulders and our arms. Any questions you have about anything, comment below. Also, if you are interested in anything I shared, I talked a little bit about cupping, a little bit about neck stuff. I love my clients and anybody in my community to feel empowered about their bodies and more connected to their bodies. So please ask me any questions. I'm here to support you and guide you. Again, the oils that I use every flow sequence is a line for our centering blend. It's a doTERRA yoga kit. Then we have anchor for our Shavasana relaxation and a rise to come on back to the room. We did great options for shoulders as well as for arms today. If you want other postures or other sequences, comment, let me know, share this with anybody you think could use a little shoulder and arm work. And we'll be back again tomorrow for our happy hour flow at 5.30 p.m. Eastern live. And don't forget, tomorrow I'm gonna offer the replay of this video around lunchtime for those of you that want a little lunch flow. So check out the Facebook watch party tomorrow for our lunch flow and share this video so anyone at any point can enjoy their yoga. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Be well.